Welcome to the playoffs of season one, the wild card round between Doug versus Alex. We had four people going to the playoffs. We have a tie for fourth place between these two. So we have some business we still have yet to settle. How are you two feeling today? You ready? Alex broke out the headband. Doug is chugging a Celsius. They're both they're both ready for this. I just don't want to get zero. I don't know these new things. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself. But yeah. if you get a zero, buddy, you're you're. I mean, you have to have some confidence that <laughs> you know anything about oh, movies. I dude. hate myself, so like, we're not doing well. But let's lock in, man. Yeah, let's lock, right. let's lock in. So this is gonna be a lot different than the regular season since this is a head to head battle. But here's what the final leaderboard looks like. And as you can see, tied for fourth place at 100 points is Alex and Doug. Look how much ball my podcast knows. Yeah, your your podcast has three <laughs> people in the playoffs, and we'll see if Alex can prevent that from three people going on to the official playoffs. Crazy ball, ball here's the playoff time. bracket. Alex and Doug in that wild card round. The winner is going to go face off against K Meeks, and then Owen doesn't provide me any photos. So we're just using that profile picture of his. What a crazy photo of Seth. Yep, Seth versus <laughs> Owen for the other side of the bracket. We'll determine who's going to win season one of the Trivia 10. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Like I said, this is way different than the regular season. This isn't going to be like questions to each of you. This is going to be more head-to-head -head type questions. we got a couple different flavors here. Threw this together this morning. I think this should be fun, but we'll see how it goes. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first question is going to be a guess the poster. And we're going to have five rounds of this. So if you watched the Real Talk podcast episode a week or two ago, it's where you kind of show like a small snippet of the poster. And then you have to guess what it is based on that. And then it'll expand. You'll see the full one. So this okay. one is straight up head-to-head. -head. Whoever can yell it out first. But the way it works is if you yell out an answer right away and it's wrong, like you can't just yell out a second one. So you might not want to well, just so throw one no, out right away. There's no just go. Like we just say the answer out loud. The first one is go. But like if you say it wrong, then say, Alex, you go first answer. You just throw it out right away. Doug's going to get, you know, all the time in the world he wants to think for a second guess. So oh, you might God. not want to throw one out right away. Think about it. We have five rounds of this. Ten points per answer correct. Let's jump into the first snippet of a poster. Okay. The Shining. I think, oh my. The Shining, no. Doug gets the 10 pointer. The Shining is correct. Of course, Alex had a Shining question on his regular season of the Overlook Hotel, and he almost got it wrong, but he was able to get it. 10 points first on the board is Doug. Let's go ahead and get to the second poster Lucky snippet. Uh, Transformers. Beautiful. Transformers no. is correct. Doug no is running way. up an early lead. For some reason, I thought that was By the way, I didn't mention this at the beginning, but there's a total of 200 possible points in this episode. So, you know, leads are never safe. Leads are never safe. The next poster we got. Batman, Batman Begins. That one was a tie. Literally a tie. I'm going to give it to nobody on that one. We're going to go okay. zeros across the board. Batman Begins straight up tie. We did a, a latency test before the pod there. Both. There's no delay. Batman Begins is the right one. Bro, we're Next locked poster the fuck snippet. In. <laughs> Next poster <laughs> snippet. I have to lock in. Oh, Fight Club. I'm going to give that to Doug. That was by like a hair. No way. Alex said the uh before. I want and I VAR. Think I him. want VAR. No way. <laughs> Doug went straight with the Fight Club. Alex did a uh, Fight Club. I'm going to give that one to Doug. 10 points. So we got 30 to zero at this point. The final poster of this round before we jump into the next section. Uh, I'm with some more. Oh, and fuck, Alex gets fuck, on the board fuck, with fuck, Midsummer. Fuck, fuck. My Midsummer's brain, my correct. brain went the Florida Project and then Midsummer, and then I didn't say anything, so I was over. <laughs> Can we just, just, talk just about why did I say Moonfall? Why the <laughs> hell did he ever put Moonfall on this list? And I was like, oh my idiot. To be I'm fair, very, what, yeah, what I'm pulling it. from for this trivia is stuff you've both seen. Because, you know, for the trivia 10 regular seasons, it's stuff like you've both rated highly. But it's simply going to be impossible to, like, narrow it down to both films you've seen, both films you rated highly. So Moonfall could have been one. I don't know if Doug's – I think Doug's seen it. So that could have been – I like Moonfall. That could have been a valid question. But it's 30 to 10. We are now done with the guest the poster question heading into round two. We got what I call Ride the Bus. So how this is going to work is I'm going to give you a poster of a movie and it's going to say what the box office total of, is of that movie. Then we're going to go one by one new movies. And you have to say, is the box office total of that movie made higher or lower? If you get uh -oh. it right, we keep on going. Five You're total. Fucked. So you could go all the way for five to get 25 <laughs> yeah. points. You get five each. You'll get it as we go. But first off, the first question here, the first movie you got is Django Unchained. Like I said, this is Alex. Doug, you have a completely separate quiz next. So Alex Wait, is this first. worldwide or U.S.? Worldwide box okay. office. So this is only Alex for this part. And then we're going to, you know, he's going to go through riding oh, the bus. Yeah, and we're going to go to Doug. So right now we got Django Unchained, $425 million. You have to guess the next movie I, I show here, if it made more or less at the worldwide box office, Baby Driver. Um, uh, less. 
Less is correct. Baby Driver's right. So you got five points. The next Doug's movie. Movie, by the way. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. oh, the next movie here, Arrival. So did it make more or less than $227 million, which is Baby Driver? So now it's Baby Driver is oh, the wow, new less. level set. Less is the guest. The correct answer is less by just a hair, $203 million. So you got 10 points at this point. The next movie poster, Goodfellas. That make more or less than a rival. Like surely do logic's like hitting. Like surely it's gotta be an over eventually, right? I don't know the box office here, and I don't know the like is this adjusted for inflation or no? Like it's just like <laughs> no, it's just how much it made. Um, do logic. We're gonna go over, but like I I, I don't I don't know. The correct answer is under. I felt like this was a good slip up because Goodfellas made like dirt at the box office. So you end at 10 points. 10 points is how far you got. Um, these are tough because like I said, Goodfellas obviously a massively acclaimed movie and movies in the 90s. You know, we had like Titanic in the 90s. It made like, you know, $2 yeah, billion. Yeah. Dollars. So it's not like just because it's an older movie. But the ones that would have been next that you don't get is Lady Bird. That would have been over. And then Hereditary, which was also over that. But now we're turning to Doug for your turn to ride the bus. See how far you can get on these box office totals. I love for, this game. This, this shit rocks. <laughs> you know, I threw this together this morning. I think it's going to be fun. Um, first, we're starting with Black Swan at $329 million, which honestly is more than I kind of expected that to make, but good for Darren Aronofsky. Next up, we have The Matrix. So this came out, what, the oh, 90s? Damn, this is tough already. Uh, well, I less. didn't choose movies that it was going to be like, you know, one's a billion, another's 100 million. Like, I yeah, yeah, close. Yeah. So your guess is less? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, off the bat, it made oh. more. Oh no, this oh, no. is Doug's movie. No. no, the door has been cracked open. Zero points. It's still <laughs> Doug with thirty and Alex with ten. But the next one would have been nineteen seventeen, which made less. The Hangover, which was more. That's hard. I'm Inglorious like, Bastards, that. which was less. Damn, these this here, this is hard. What and Goodwill Hunting, which was <laughs> less. Right. Yeah, I mean, th this, that's the point. I'm not going to just be like Titanic or. Thor Dark World, which one made more or less? Oh. But Great game, by the way. That's just the master making of Tyler here. Yeah, yeah. you know, I, I got to keep things fresh. There's going to be other people that are going to crop up with their own trivias, and I always got to stay 10, 10 steps ahead of the game. But we got 30 points, Doug, 20 points, Alex. Moving on to the next round here, which we got another fun little flavor of a game. This is another one where one's going at a time. So this, I'm going to show five movies that Alex has rated on Letterboxd, and you're going to have to guess what the total amount of stars across the five movies is. You might need a little scratch paper or something to add them up. What? Doug, <laughs> you're, you're going to guess the total number of stars Alex rated these five movies, and then however far you're off, Alex is going to do the same thing for five movies you rated. We're going to see who's closer to guessing what the other person's That's a, it's <laughs> a great game. Here we go. Don't look up. Deadpool X memento and thor love and thunder which i just realized for some reason the posters flipped but you get the gist that's thor love and thunder think about it for a second take hold as on, much time on. as you need add up the total stars alex gave these on letterboxd can i check what i put for like one because i know like one is like i mean i pulled it from your letterbox this morning so it's whatever the most recent accurate one is but sorry i had to take the headphones off for a second and lock in and my guess is 16 stars Walk me through your thought process there for a second. Though. Like, what were, what were you kind of adding them up in your head? What do you think? Yeah, so I was going, I, I was I was just kind of averaging out. I was like, Deadpool X, Memento, probably all around four stars for Alex. And then I was like, probably doesn't like Don't Look Up or Thor. So I was going to be safe and just be like, probably about two stars for both of those. Um, Just like ballparking it. And it's like probably around 16 stars with like maybe like, more or less one and a half stars this was my thought process like so 16 was your final guess yeah 16 the correct answer three stars for don't look up four for deadpool oh, 3.5 for x five for memento and three for thor love and thunder 18 and a half 16 still very close again this is the first time i've seen it. anyone ever do this game so who knows if this is you know um, a, a bad or good guess we'll have yet to see but you are two and a half stars off the total and we are now going to okay. turn to alex okay. here so alex get as close to the total as possible the movies you got to guess here are Dunkirk, Pearl, Jurassic Park, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Marriage Story. <laughs> and, you know, think about it as long as you need. Try and walk me through your thought process of what you're thinking for each. Well, there's no way Doug didn't give Jurassic Park a five. So, like, that's that's a five, like, I feel like it has to be. Uh, marriage Story has to be high up as well, surely, right? Um, for some reason, I feel like you hate Catching Fire. Um 
See, now you got to get inside. People try to get inside the mind of me during these trivias. Now you got to get inside the mind Dunkirk, of Dunkirk. I don't know if you love Dunkirk. I love Pearl. I'm going to go. I'm going to do 19, 19 stars. 19 stars is the guess. 19 is crazy. Three and a half for Dunkirk, two for Pearl, four for Jurassic Park, three for Hunger Games Catching Fire, and five for Marriage Story, which is 17 and a half, which is a 1.5 star difference. The winner of this one is Alex. He's getting the 25 point lot here, which gives him a lead 45 to 30 into the next round. So he started off hot with Doug. We're on to Alex Only taking the four lead. for here. Jurassic Park. Listen, look, we don't need to get into it. We don't need to get into it. <laughs> Moving on to the next round here. We have the classic guess the cast, but we're doing two rounds total of this. So what it's going to be is this one. Alex is going first. We're going to show one cast member. Alex gets a guess. Then we're going to get the second cast member, Doug, third, Alex, back and forth. And then we're going to flip for the next round. Doug will go first, flip back and forth. So it's fair. You just kind of get the different shots at it here. But round one, Alex up first. So, Doug, you don't get a guess until the second cast member is revealed. Ethan Hawke is the first one up. All right. All right. There's just no way it's predestination. That would be hilarious if it was, though. Um, I'm going to go – let me think. So, I feel like first reformed is something that we both ranked. Probably both pretty highly. That could be one. But there's no way you just pull the main lead. So, Ethan Hawke's probably not the lead. Um. Why am I blanking on Ethan Hawke projects? Uh, I mean, recently, he's, he's Black only Phone. in about a hundred movies. Yeah, recently Black Phone. <laughs> it, could be, it could be. I haven't rated any of the before trilogy, so it can't be one of those, right? Um, there's probably not even enough cast in those movies to do a guess. What is he anyway. like? There's no way to leave the world behind. Um, um, I'm like blanking on like Ethan Hawke stuff, and he's probably like not even a lead in it. Uh, I'm just going to off the rip, just guess first reformed because not right now, <laughs> not right now. Hold on. I'm locked in. All right. First reformed has been locked in. That is yeah. incorrect. So now we're turning to Doug, the next cast member, Joseph Gordon Levitt, Doug for 40 points here. Um, Throw me for a loop, actually, Joseph. <laughs> so my the only movie I can think of was the Black Phone. <laughs> Literally, um, that's the only Ethan Hawke movie you can think of right now. <laughs> like the only one that I was like, maybe it could be this. Uh, oh. Obviously, I know other Ethan Hawke movies, but I'm like, I, I'm now Joseph Gordon Levitt movies. Now what I'm thinking of is uh, Don John, uh, but Ethan Hawke is not in that. Um, was Ethan Hawke in Looper? I. Uh, is he in Looper? I don't think he's in Looper. Um, is Ethan Hawke in Brick? I don't know because I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> is, uh, I don't fucking... Oh, no. Ethan Hawke's not in Inception. I don't... Okay, my... I don't know these guys very well. Uh, I'm going to guess... I'm going to go kind of crazy here. I'm going to guess The Last Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> the Last Jedi is incorrect. We yeah, are back okay. to Alex for 30 <laughs> points. Catherine Hahn. Does this help you, Doug? Like, I I listen, I have, I have honestly blanked like crazy. My first thing when I saw Joseph Gordon Levitt, like, the first movie was Looper. And I was like, I don't think any of these. Yeah. Like, listen, no we're, we're in the game. playoffs now. My gloves are off. I, I've, I've, <laughs> I've had it with people getting these on the first <laughs> one. Too easy of questions. I, I'm doing an A game for the playoffs. You guys made the playoffs. We got to kind of get on. What is. What. Catherine Hahn films. Joseph like, Gordon Levitt's really throwing me off here. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, oh. like, what the. There's just no way. Like, the only Joseph Gordon Levitt movies that I can think of right now are like Dark Knight Rises. Um, what is he in, you know? Not in a ton. Oh, I mean, he's in the Ryan Johnson movies. That's why I was. I don't want to help you, actually. I shouldn't right. for, the, for, the folks, for the folks keeping is, track at home, even if Alex gets it off the rip here, there's still enough Catherine of a point Hahn, gap to where Doug could still win it all. So. Is Catherine Hahn in one of the Knives Outs? I think she's in like Knives Out too. No? I'm just going to guess Knives Out too. Knives Out 2 is correct. 
kind of crazy. Okay. That's what Doug, I was going to guess. Doug, given the going. Ryan Johnson thing. I sh- I, after I said that, I was like, it's fucking glass You shouldn't have said that. I was like, because I know that Catherine Hans and Glass Onion. I shouldn't have said that. That was kind of crazy. For a second, y'all forgot you were competing and you started trying to tag team this one. 30 points headed um, to Alex with so 75 to 30. So, Doug, you're going to need this next cast off the rip because it's starting with you. And okay. if you get 50 here, you win 80 to 75 in what would be an all time wild card matchup. So, Doug, you are first. First cast member is going to be revealed. Okay. We're starting off with Max Minghella. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> um, you know, take your time. In, take as much time as I'm, you need. This is for your I'm life. I'm reaching into my mind palace currently. Um, <laughs> Enter your Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton duffel bag right now. Uh, uh, come on, man. Uh, fuck. Um, fuck, 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 fuck. I have no idea. I don't know. Babylon. I have no idea. I literally have no idea. <laughs> Um, Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the oh craziest things I could have oh. ever expected in the Trivia 10. Oh my, no. 50 points to Babylon off the rip. That gives 80 to no 75 as the final score. I was like, I recognize that guy's face from somewhere. And I was literally just, oh my God. I was thinking it potentially the social network would be the first place people's mind went because he was with the Winklevi. But that, I couldn't have scripted a better wild card round there. I reached into my that mind was the palace. Final I wasn't fucking around. 80 to 75. Babylon is the right answer. This, <sighs> this went about as crazy as possible. Now, now the VAR will be questioning that fight club for, for decades well, to come. I'm, this is going to be in the lore of the Trivia 10, the fight club judgment by the referee, if that was a tie or not, because that would have been the difference maker. But a crazy off the rip pick by Doug there for Babylon, which means he will be going to get up against K Meeks. In the playoffs, it'll be three out of four of the playoff members now are the Looks Like a Movie podcast members. Absolutely incredible run by all of you. Next up, we're going to be seeing Seth versus Owen. But how do you guys feel about your performance today? How do you feel about the quiz? I feel robbed. God damn it. <laughs> um, I just want to say that Moonfall thing really just like sold me. Who the hell like would guess Moonfall on this list? Also, Transformers, that's your movie. That's like your whole thing. I just like <laughs> that poster. Like whole like, fucking I, just, brand. I can't believe it. Like I really can't, honestly. Um, if um, we could take like, I'm gonna have one of those like uh, Stefan Diggs pictures of like him holding the trophy and like I'm looking in the background as Doug celebrating, like I'll be back. Um, but yeah, all I can say is I'll be back as long as, um, you know, there's VAR next time. Cause I think I really did get that Fight Club. We'll look back on the tape. Um, <laughs> But I did better than George, and that's all that matters, really. <laughs> well, oh, yes, you, you both made the playoffs a lot to be excited about there. But, of course, next week we'll be seeing who's going to be going to the championship game to face off against the winner of Doug versus K. Meeks. It'll be Seth versus Owen. But that'll do it for the wild card round, round one of the playoffs for the first season of the Trivia 10. I think this quiz went pretty great. I think it was fun back and forth. I think the questions were pretty solid. And I threw this together real quick, so I'm happy that like the scores didn't end up being like 130 to 20 or something. It was something crazy lopsided. Don't really think I could have gone any better for for an, a climactic quiz at the end. But Doug, congratulations! Both of your links, of course, are in the description down below. Thank you both for playing in this wild card round, but also just in the season as a whole. It's been a lot of fun to have both of you on. But of course, next week we will see you all with the divisional round between, or I guess the NFC AFC Championship round, <laughs> and it'll be Seth versus Owen up next week. So see you then. Make sure you subscribe. Peace. <laughs>